Right, so that's been on my surplus for just coming up two weeks. And I'm weighing 104.3. Two weeks of what I deem to be a surplus has actually resulted in still look dropping weight. Um, I, I started this at 104.5 and I've actually dropped a little bit of weight. Now, to be honest, I'm a little bit confused as to why that has happened. I am not actually too sure as my belt is definitely fitting tighter, <clears throat> which is the first um, indicator. My belt is fitting tighter. I'm feeling fuller. So when I wear, when I put kind of clothes I wear on every day or if I look in the mirror or stuff like that, I just feel and look fuller. I feel that my muscles just have a much fuller look to them, which is obviously a sign of increased carbohydrates, which will result in incre obviously replenishing any any kind of depleted depletion of your glycogen stores. Uh, my belt fits tighter. Overall, I feel stronger in the gym, and my energy with and without the gym is better. Yet I've still dropped some weight, and to be honest, that is. It's a little bit confusing to me, but it's not necessarily a bad place to be in. But what I want to do is I really want to take advantage of as being as heavy as I possibly can in my weight class. So obviously my weight class is 105 kilos, so I want to be weighing in as heavy as I can in that 105 kilos to give me the best possible advantage. And personally, what I feel will give me the best advantage is to kind of in the last the last week, so kind of one week out, sitting about 106 and a half, maybe 107 kilos, and then just doing a slight water manipulation tool on the day before and cutting that one and a half kilos of water weight, which will be extremely easy to do and will also be able to be replenished within 15, 20 minutes and won't impact my performance negatively whatsoever. So I'm gonna to have to make a real conscious effort to increase my calories even more and eat enough food. One thing I have noticed from this cut is, is that my appetite is definitely less than what it was. I um, definitely don't have the same appetite. I, I, I struggle to have the same kind of portions as I used to have before, and I also struggle to hit just the total overall calories during the day. However, it's something I'm gonna to have to make a conscious effort and just make sure I do to give myself the best possible advantage coming into this competition to hit three PRs, four PRs, hit a squat bench, deadlift PR, and also hit a competition PR. And that is the plan. What I also had tried in this workout is was bringing my grip back in. Now, I had been experimenting, moving my grip out, out, and out. And for this cycle, I went one finger, one finger uh, width wider again. And one of the main reasons for that is, is to obviously try and reduce the range of motion because I have got an extremely long wingspan. My my wingspan sits at just under kind of six and a half foot, so about six foot seven. Now, me being six foot two, that is even extremely big for, for myself. Now, obviously that is very advantageous when it comes to deadlifts because it's gonna reduce the range of motion in deadlifts, but with bench press, it's also gonna increase the range of motion, which is gonna make it harder to move as much weight as possible. But I experimented, I brought my grip in a little bit and I just feel, more powerful and what I also feel is is that I have the ability to grind reps out a little bit more. Now with with the widest I'd ever had my grip I felt that if I ever kind of made a slight mistake through the range of motion or kind of slightly misgrooved a little bit I found it a lot more difficult to grind out that rep and it's almost like every single rep had to be perfect otherwise I had a, a high risk of missing it whereas with a slightly um, narrower grip. I feel that even if I make a, a, a slight misgroove or slightly misgroove something, I feel that I still have the ability to grind it out and and um, just really grind out the rep and I also feel that I get a lot more kind of lat engagement as well so I feel that my arch is also a little bit better but I also feel that I'm able to, to utilise my lats a lot more in the bench press which is obviously um, essential and is only going to be a good thing. But overall, everything seems to be going very well. As you'll be seeing this, that will be coming, me coming up for exactly five weeks out. So the next five weeks are going to be extremely tough. Going to be going through um, an extremely difficult overreaching phase, which is going to be very, very taxing. 
and then obviously onto the peak and then obviously going to have the slight deload the week before however it is going to be extremely worth it and I'm just really really excited to get back on the platform I haven't actually competed since last August so it has been a long long time since I will have competed um, will, will, I will have come up for um, about 8 months so I'm very excited to get back on the platform get my qualifying total and move forward from there I'll be competing the Scottish later on in the year and then from there move on to the British. Now what you're seeing here is something that I've never done before up until this train cycle and I'm really enjoying it. I feel that it uh, actually creates a lot of stability in my core and also my upper back which will also have an extremely good transfer over onto your squats you and also your deadlifts. So if you aren't doing that you should maybe think about throwing it in as an accessory. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you next time.